Gregorian chant, the soul of sacred music, and the body of the music you'll hear today on our program, Sacred Soundings, music to deepen your faith beyond measure. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings, on listener-supported St. Gabriel Catholic Radio AMA 20, and streaming live on stgabrielradio.com. In 1264, Pope Urban IV asked both St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Bonaventure to compose the Mass and Office for the Feast of Corpus Christi. When it came time to present their manuscripts, St. Thomas Aquinas knelt and read his first. As he read, St. Bonaventure quietly tore up his own manuscript, saying that Aquinas' version was the only one worthy of the feast. The work was set to a 12th century chant and is used to this day. It's a sequence that begins, Lauda Sion Salvatorum. Zion, to thy Savior, sing. It's sung here by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, and is followed by the beloved hymn, Panis Angelicus, Bread of Angels. Let us 
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20, and I'm your host, Al Romano. We just heard the Gregorian chant, Lara Sion, from the Office of the Feast of Corpus Christi, and the hymn, Panis Angelicus. They're tracks from a CD entitled, Adoration at Ephesus, by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, a truly remarkable group of nuns. As many of you know, these sisters have literally rocked the music world. Both of their first two albums of chants and hymns hit the number one spot on the classical traditional billboard charts in 2013, and they were the first order of nuns to win an award in the history of Billboard magazine. But music is only a sideline. As members of a monastic institute, the sisters have dedicated their lives to prayer, especially for priests. They support themselves primarily by making priestly vestments and tending a small farm. Check out their music and their monastic way of life at benedictinesofmary.org. And now, positive proof that love, truth, beauty, peace, and harmony can come out of Washington in the form of chants by the Friars of the Dominican House of Studies, located on Michigan Avenue, directly across from the Catholic University of America in the nation's capital. From the Friars' album, Gaudiamus, Let Us Rejoice, we'll hear, Hear the Voice in Prayer, and O Sacrum Convivium, O Sacred Banquet.
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AM820, and I'm your host, Al Romano. We just heard Hear the Voice in Prayer and O Sacrum Convivium by the Friars of the Dominican House of Studies in Washington. The Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist, is a community based in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Here are two tracks from their CD, Mater Eucharistiae, Mother of the Eucharist. Ave Maria to the Holy Virgin and the Annunciation.
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20. You just heard Ave Maria to Thee, Holy Virgin, and the Annunciation from the album Mater Eucharistiae by the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. Noting that Gregorian chant has always been regarded as the supreme model for sacred music, Pope St. Pius X declared that the more closely a composition for church approaches in its movement, inspiration and savor, the Gregorian form, the more sacred and liturgical it becomes, and the more out of harmony it is with that supreme model, the less worthy it is of the temple. That statement may seem a bit over the top if you're not all that familiar with or partial to Gregorian chant, or plain chant as it's called, but then, as with so many other cultivated tastes, exposure is the key. Keep listening for a time with wide open ears and open mind. You may find that plain chant really isn't all that plain. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings on St. Gabriel Catholic Radio AMA 20. Join us Wednesdays at noon and Sundays at 2.30 p.m. for more Sacred Soundings, music to deepen your faith beyond measure. <laughs> 